Do you want to do an excursion at St. Thomas? Is Megan's Bay one of the most beautiful beaches in the world? Is it worth it to actually pay the expensive cost of an excursion off your cruise? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about that today. My name is Kelly. We were a family of five. We were on the Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. And one of the excursions was the, the Megan's Bay Drake's Peak Skyride excursion. So stay tuned. Let's talk about that today. First of all, when you get off of the ship, you will wait in a line. You will get a, a ticket that you will wait in a numbered line um, for your time to go. It's a very busy process. There's a lot of people around. Um, so you are kind of waiting a certain length of time. And I want to say we waited almost 45 minutes. You are placed on an open air bus and they are pretty jammed packed. Uh, we actually got split up. There was five rows of five. Um, and so we actually, because we were the bot bottom five of that line, if you will, we got split up one on each line of the row of the open air bus. So keep that in mind that there is not a lot of room. You do have to step up into it. So if you have some mobility problems, that could be a challenge. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're going on this excursion. So the open air bus, um, there's very narrow roads um, at St. Thomas. And so... I would not recommend renting a car unless you are um, love a good adventure, I would say. Pretty narrow, windy roads. The very first stop that we went to was Drake's Peak, and that was beautiful. Now, we went in July at peak season, uh, so it was very crowded. It was very narrow, um, and you only were allowed about 15 minutes. So everybody gets off the open air bus. Everybody wants pictures overlooking Drake's Peak. It is beautiful, um, but it's very time limited. So keep that in mind. You're not going to have a whole lot of time to take your pictures and get certain ones. It was adequate for our family, but it is busy. Then you get back onto the open air bus and there again, there's buses coming, you know, the whole time. Um, you're not there by yourself. And then you go to Megan's Bay and the open air bus driver drops you off at Megan's Bay. You get two hours at Megan's Bay. Here was the con. That really wasn't enough time. Um, we had been to Megan's Bay before and we had had four hours, which in our opinion was almost perfect. The reason two hours really wasn't enough time was by the time you get off the bus, you go and get the beaches right there. If you want to find a chair and rent a chair, they're all for rent. They don't just have them there provided. And one lounge chair with an umbrella was $20 per person. So if you had wanted four chairs, you're going to pay $20 per person. Um, so keep that in mind. We did rent four chairs. So again, for two hours was expensive, but, and you could just lay your towel down on the sand. That was fine. Just for us, we kind of liked having a home base. You also could rent towels, lockers, and snorkel gear. But again, this all takes time out of that two hours. So think about that when you're planning your time at Megan's Bay about what's most important to you. So you know exactly where to go, what to rent, so you can get enjoying your, your beach time as much as possible. Uh, we did not rent kayaks or any of that stuff. We just decided to go right into the water. We got drinks. The bar line was a little bit long as well. We probably waited about 10 minutes for drinks. Um, they do have a wide variety of drinks. They have some local craft beers as well as domestic um, craft beers and drinks. And you could take that right in the water. The water was beautiful. Megan's Bay is gorgeous. It is a narrow beach. Um, and there was a lot of people there. So it was pretty crowded, um, but we had plenty of space in front of our chairs. So we were fine. Uh, we brought our drinks. The water, like I said, was warm and calm on this day um, and just beautiful. The sand is very soft. You can walk it um, along the edge. There was a, a, you know, people were doing that as well, if that's something you like. There is a small souvenir shop. So if you're looking for some balls or you want to buy some, you know, shovels and buckets and things like that for your kids, they did have a small souvenir shop as well as some clothing items on um, there. They, that did accept cash only. I don't know if this was a particular day they didn't accept a card um, or if there was some challenges with that. But when you go in and pay for either your rentals of your equipment, your chairs or some souvenirs, it was cash only. So in you w might want to think about that when you're bringing some cash with you um, to this excursion. So again, by the time you have all that time of getting your chairs, maybe getting a drink or two um, in the water, you don't get a whole lot of time there. They also had a little bar and grill. We did order a pizza and we were able to eat that at our chairs. 
Um, it was very good pizza. They had burgers and fries and different things like that. So again, if you're planning that, make sure you allot for that in your time because it goes pretty quickly. Also note, there was no, uh, there was only one stall bathroom, at least for the women's, uh, one stall bathroom and the line was very long. They do have some porta potties. So, um, you know, if you need to use the restroom at Megan's Bay, keep that in mind and allot that into your time because again, you could waste some time just in the bathroom changing or otherwise. I would recommend wearing your swimsuit underneath your clothes if you feel comfortable with that. We just wore our swimsuits, uh, my daughter and I, and we just threw a sundress over top of it, so we were fine with that because um, you will be in and out of the sand and the water throughout the day. Then you get back after your two hours, you get back onto the open air bus, everybody was on time and you left right at that two hour mark. So uh, they're leaving with or without you. And then you head to the trolley tram sky ride, which is closer to the ship. And this was a tram and we had done this like I said, exact excursion probably eight or 10 years ago. And we just had a much more relaxing experience. We had more time at Megan's Bay and the tram itself was just our family of five that went up into the tram. Each tram was allowed the family. In this day, and I'm assuming it was because it was so busy, the tram itself allows for eight people and they were jamming all eight people in. Now again, my kids are older now, they're not as little. So to have eight adults in this little tram was very crowded and it felt very cramped. So if you get claustrophobic, if that's gonna bother you, if they're gonna cram that many people in, I would not recommend going up in that. Um, because it, I'm not claustrophobic, none of us are, but we still felt very, very um, crammed in. Now, it goes very fast. The tr so you're up in the, uh, up the mountain, if you will, very quickly, within a few minutes. We were allowed 45 minutes at the top of the, of the hill, the mountain, if you will. And, and that was plenty of time. Um, they have some little shops, up, uh, local shops and souvenir shops at the top. There's a bar and grill and we did get a drink. You can get some pictures overlooking where the cruise ships are and just a beautiful scenery. You can get pictures that way. So 45 minutes was probably more than enough time. Um, probably could have been reduced even, um, but more than enough time. And then you get back in line to take the tram down. The tram is running the whole time and you wait for your open air bus. But again, they crammed eight people on the way back down as well. Um, so, you know, people are kind of always going on the tram up and down. And then you get back on your open air bus and it takes you back to the port where your cruise ship is. At the port, there are shops and restaurants right there at the port, so you certainly will have more time um, if your cruise time allows for, for some more additional souvenir shopping or to grab a drink or two if you'd like. Um, and then you can get back on the cruise ship. Keep in mind, you need your CPAS card, um, your sunscreen hat. You do not need to bring towels with you, even at Megan's Bay, um, Royal Caribbean at least. What we were on did provide two towels. You do have to bring them back, but you can rent towels if you're going there without your towels or if you forgot your towels. So what do we do it again? We probably would not do this exact excursion again. Um, in our opinion, it really probably wasn't worth the cost only because it was very rushed we didn't get enough time in what we really wanted to do. Like we could have stayed at Drake's Peak a few more minutes and just kind of taken some more scenery pictures. We definitely would have stayed at Megan's Bay longer um, and less time on the trolley ride um, with because of that experience. Um, so next time we probably will focus more on the Megan's Bay, but Megan's Bay is definitely worth seeing. And again, we were at peak times that could have made a difference as well. Hopefully you found this helpful. Please give me a like and subscribe if you did. It helps move my channel forward. Comment below, do you prefer to book your excursions through the cruise ship or do you like to do your own? Personally, we usually do the cruise ship just because it has that insurance factor, but I also know a lot of people like doing it on their own. So I'd love to hear your comments on that. And we'll talk soon.